Now that the fixture plate is all done, it's time to go on to the next step, which is to put the part onto the fixture plate so that the cam can be done. All right. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is make sure I have a new file open, and it needs to be saved. If you don't save it, you won't be able to bring these uh, parts into it. So I'll just call this test. Test. And I will put it in the test folder. Okay, so, so all I have to do is drag the fixture plate in and just hit enter. The location that it's at is fine. I'll zoom out of that a little bit. And then I'll bring the part in that I want to machine. I'll just drag that in. And I will move that out from underneath and hit enter. Okay, so there we have it. So the first thing I need to do is I need to attach this onto here. This corner right here needs to go exactly right there in the center of this hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Assemble and Joint. And I'm going to fix, pick the first point on this object here. And then I'm going to pick the center point on this here. And there we have it. I will, I don't need any offsets on it. Uh, so right there is fine. So I'll just hit enter. And there we have it. Okay, so now I'm going to insert the screws. But first I'm going to show you how to get the screws. Uh, first I'm going to go to File, New Design. Now you're going to want to bring something like a screw, you're going to want to bring it into a new file so you can reuse it later for other uh, files. So you're going to go to Insert, Insert McMaster Car Component, and just choose whatever component you want. I'm going to go to Shoulder Screws, and I'm going to go to Inch, and this is a 5 16th shoulder. And with a 3 sixteenths height and it looks like it's it right there and I will choose the product number and then go to product details and I tried downloading the sat for some reason it didn't download crop file or something so I'll just use step and then just click save and just hit enter and there you go and just save that I've already have it right here so I will just exit out of that don't save and similar to putting this on I just do the same thing I just drag this in and I will move this out from under Hit enter, and enter twice, and again I will go to assemble, joint, and select the part where I want it to be inserted, right there, and then here, and there we go. Uh, I won't go into adding the other ones, but you get the idea of how to put it in. All right. Now I'm going to do the cam, so I'm going to go up here where it says model and choose cam. And in here the first thing I need to do is do the setup, so I'll go to setup. And where it says origin, I'll click selected point. And I'm going to zoom in, select this corner right here. This is where I'm going to be picking up my zeros on my mill. This is actually where I'm going to be setting my uh, G55 and uh, everything else in there is fine for now. The next thing I need to do is drill the holes, do the cam for the two holes. I'll start with a center drill. So I'll go to drilling and select my center drill. 
Uh, don't need flood coolant, disable. Uh, all these feeds and speeds are set in the tool table, so if you have that set up, you don't need to worry about these. You might tweak them based on the the thing you're doing, but uh, uh, these are conservative because it is a mini mill. And I will go to the geometry and select these two holes. In previous videos, I chose select same diameter, but there's a lot of holes here of the same diameter, so I don't want to do that. And then I will go to the cycle, rapid drill, that's fine. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not drilling deep, it's just a center drill. And in my heights, um, the bottom, we're not drilling, I'm not drilling all the way through. So I'm going to choose from the top, the whole top. I'm going to offset down. I just want to go uh, an eighth of an inch in with the center drill, so I will put negative 0.125 and hit enter. And you can see that it's actually gone in there like that. So I can actually, with the shift and then holding down the center scroll button, I can move this around, make sure that looks good. And I can go to simulate over here and look at the statistics. It's just a minute. I'll click close. Uh, actually, let me just go ahead and simulate that. Uh, click play. That looks good. It turned red, but it, it'll be okay. I will click uh, close. Go back to the home view. Okay, now I just need to drill uh, the two holes all the way through. So I'll go to drill again, and I will select my 13 16 drill for a quarter 20 tap. Okay, I have the basic uh, same feeds and speeds, uh, not flood coolant. Uh, this is going to be a peck drill, or a chip break, as they call it in here. Uh, the peck depth, I will just call it uh, point, uh, 0 0.050. And chip break, accumulated minimum peck, and I'll go to heights. And I do want to go to the bottom on this one, so I actually want to drill the tip through the bottom. So for an offset, I will just call the offset uh, an eighth of an inch, 0.125. Click OK. Oops, sorry. I have to click the faces. Oh. Oh, yeah. Select that and that, and and I think that's it. I click OK. Now I can go through and do a simulation on this. And go to the statistics. It's just uh, one and uh, three quarter minutes. And click close. Okay, so that's it. One last thing to do before going into Mach 3 and doing the machining would be to post process or to generate the G code. So I'll go up to where it says G1, G2. And it's already set up for a Mach 3 mil post processor. I've got it set up for my drop docs. I have a name in here already for test. And I'll just click post and click save. And it'll actually give you the uh, G code. For some reason, it usually gives you two. I don't know, but uh, and there it is. Okay.